Hi, and welcome to Goodnight Channel. A, uh, something with two fucks. Fuck you. I'm PJ. I'm Jake. Yeah, you have all, the, you have all the information over there for paper. No, I don't. I only have one thing written. <laughs> that's fine. What's your one thing? <laughs> all right, so we're playing. We played. We are not yeah, we playing. We, we well, completed it. Just so you know, completed is not... We didn't find every single ending. Yeah. Because we got lots of games to do, and I don't give a shit. We, we got an ending. <laughs> In the world of the completionist, we would be known as the beatist, as we only beat the game. We... The... the eh. Like and that. then we jerked each other off. The, the beaterists. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So as long as we're on the same page here mm -hmm. on... Uh, we, didn't, we didn't count the game over one. The one where it's just like, hey, yeah. you can't even play this game yeah, for there, baby people. I, so. Yeah, there is a game over that is not an ending. And I got that, I think, twice, which was fucking stupid. Oh, I thought it counted as the one of 20. No, there's one, I think, that is not an ending that mm. I, have, I had gotten somehow. If you die, I think it's not an ending. Something weird like that, I don't remember. So the game we played, Papers, Please, a dystopian document thriller. It's an indie game created by Lucas Pope. I don't know anything about that guy. Not I didn't do any right. research. <laughs> but I know his name because it comes up every time I open the thing. Yep, it's beautiful. and, and uh, it was released August 8th, 2013. So it was uh, also released, I think, on consoles. I don't give a shit. I don't think it was released on consoles. No, I think it was. And it's coming out on Vita. It's not out yet, but it's coming out on oh, Vita. Oh, fuck you. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Wait, what fucking console was it released on? It's coming out on Vita. That's all that matters. Well, I know that. I know that that's all that matters. It's the only system I've used in the past, like, three days. Is it really? Yeah, 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 yeah. What have you been playing? Freedom War. Oh, are you really? Yeah. I was almost going to buy that the other day. Yeah, it's it, it went from like forty dollars to like a dollar. Shit, really quick. Yeah, I almost bought it. Yeah, I'm glad it's I didn't. a yeah. You, you probably are. <laughs> I am glad I didn't put. It's not. Oh, you know what? I lied. I had lied to you. I'm sorry. Yeah, fuck you. I was like, what fucking console has a I know. keyboard and mouse that's not a? Uh... I in my brain, I consider iOS a console. Oh, oh, yeah. because it's a platform. Brain's... It's a platform I don't use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, oh, it's, a, it's like an X-Bone. Yeah, it's like a dumb console. Yeah, good. yeah, yeah. It also came out on Linux. Yeah, my favorite console. Linux. Linux. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's the basics of the game. You know, just nothing. Yeah. You don't yeah, do anything. Yeah. The end. All right, what's in this? Let's wrap it up. I, I, <laughs> I, I, we're going we're gonna to section this off mildly. Because we're gonna we're gonna constantly they're gonna bleed together. Yeah. I think probably nonstop. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna say we're gonna talk about gameplay next. No, we're gonna talk about story constantly. Yeah, we're not gonna session. actually it, accomplish either. Separately. So I, I apologize in advance. Uh, uh, the gameplay. If you just talk about just the gameplay, yeah, boring as hell sounding. Uh, you know, it seems boring. Yeah, well that's the, I, that's if the you, whole point. But uh, I had written a note. I mean, no, you look at that. Note. Let me pull up my notes with your newfangled note taker. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I, uh, as a as a little bit of background about my of my experience with the game, I uh, I started it when it came out. I actually bought it uh, right around the time it came out, I believe. When it when it came out, I think it's of of note to say when it came out, it also got a shit ton of awards. Yeah. So I was very interested in yeah. playing it. it. It literally has every award, I think. Yeah. Um, or was nominated for every award, I should say. Best FPS. Yeah, yeah, every one of them. Every single one. Best AAA title <laughs> from a known studio. Uh, so uh, I, I really was interested, and I played it up to like day five or six or some. I got I didn't get too far, but I was like, oh, I really like this, and then I never touched it again. I don't know if another game had came out in that time frame. I'm sure uh, anything that's like Dragon Age Two. I yeah. Remember, yeah. Uh, Counter Strike, <laughs> Team Fortress, any of those regular games, I would probably get, sink more time into than this fucking game, mm. this paper punching piece of shit. So, um, the gameplay, uh, very tedious, uh, yes. super tedious, and then, it, but almost a good thing. Um, I felt after a while because it became a puzzle game. Yeah, 
It doesn't really feel like a puzzle game at first, but as you start doing it, it's very much a puzzle game as you get pieces of a puzzle and you have to very quickly figure out how those pieces work together and sometimes they don't and you just fucking throw it all out or you detain somebody and yeah. you move on with your day yeah i really like that moment where you go uh, i spent a lot of time on this person i'm just gonna play russian roulette yeah <laughs> maybe they're gonna let him in or i'm gonna pass it yeah if, and you just kind of go uh, next like so the the basic gameplay of the game is People are coming to a, a border. Uh, fuck. What do you fucking check help? Point, checkpoint. Checkpoint. Like a border checkpoint. checkpoint. So like, people are trying to come into this country. You ready for this? Erzo. Uh, fuck. I got. I got to look at it again. <laughs> Fallout soon. <laughs> this this game country title. We're gonna have to cut this Ar- all out. Arstakova. Arstakova. No, no, no. It's not. It's fuck. I wrote Art- it down too. Czechoslovakia. Czech. It- it is it is fictional uh like Russia. like Russian country like Ukraine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. F- fictional uh Eastern European country. Arstoska. Arstoska? Arstoska. Does that sound right? And I, I don't know if any Arstoskins are well, ever going to listen, yeah. but uh Yeah, we butchered the fuck out of that name. This real country so i almost feel like i should read the wiki page at this point because it'd probably be better at explaining <laughs> no, 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 i but... like I, I like our subpar descriptions of the yeah game, that, like, that are out of order as we yeah, yeah, talk yeah. about things but yeah so the game takes place in 1982 it takes place in a country arstolska mm-hmm. that sounds better let's just call it ukraine from now on yeah which is basically a ukrainian eastern european country that is uh you know Based in like the 1984 and the Cold War kind of setting, yeah, you know the very like suspicious of everybody and everything, and uh, you work at a uh, border checkpoint. People are trying to get into the country. You are a, a member of the Aristoka Society, the uh, government trying to at the very low rung of the government trying to, you know, let people in and and deny people, and it's up to you to let. Good people in and keep bad people out. Good, good people as defined by the state. Exactly what the government tells you. Which is a very, very important thing to yes. note about the game. Yeah. So, gameplay: you literally uh, people throw documents at you on a table, and you look at it and you try and figure out what the what is this? What, what did they hand me? Sometimes they give you everything you need sometimes they just give you nothing and you go why did you even come to this checkpoint with absolutely nothing <laughs> georgie exactly what i was gonna say <laughs> which we'll get back to yeah georgie you s- fucking piece of shit beautiful fucking man all right so this game very much like tetris to me where with tetris i would after a certain amount of time i would get very zoned into it like everything just working like, I, there would be, like, a streak of days where I had no errors. Like, I was just that. I was getting into it. And then eventually something would distract me. Either it be the dog, you, life. Life. And the infinite amount of pain that it causes me. Um, <laughs> would distract me, and I would lose that, that, that streak. And then I would just despair and fall in 30 citations in a row, probably, at that point. <laughs> you saw what that guy said. 29 citations in my game. Yeah. So, very, uh, it's very fun. I, I don't know how you feel about the game. I think it is very fun. Yeah. I Again, I, 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 I had a very similar experience where I got it. I played it. I actually played it and went, wow, I find this very interesting. I don't want it to end. I feel like I'm just blazing through it. I yeah. didn't realize there were 31 days. I was on day of, like, 7 yeah, of yeah. 31. I was like, I'm just blazing through this game i'm gonna stop take a rest i took that rest and never came back to it until just now <laughs> like, two years later yeah, yeah, yeah. so like I, I i think it's a very fun game i think the systems are fun yep. i think that uh 31 days maybe overstays its welcome a little tiny bit but uh, we haven't mentioned that you have 31 days technically I, I, they don't really tell you that they don't tell you how no. long uh, it's not until the last quarter of the game where they say, oh, you've only got a couple days left, and then we're going to check on you. Yeah. And uh, if you're doing your job well, you're good. You're if good. you're doing your job shitty, you're not good. Yes. Um, and there is a storyline in the game 
which we're not going to get yet because that's at the second part of my thing. <laughs> but there, there is like a, a a story in the game. But the main point is that it's it's supposed to look boring. It's not really boring. Yeah. But like I said, thirty one days, a little overstaying. It's welcome, a little tiny bit. Like I, there were days where I went. This is boring, but not in, like, like I get it. Like, I'm supposed to be bored because I'm a checkpoint officer, but at the same time I'm playing a game, I feel like I shouldn't be bored. <laughs> I, I should be interested. Yes. Maybe not, you know, having fun. Yeah. But not just going, uh, I just hope I go to the next day. Like, that's all I wanted at that point. See, for me, I was, I felt like it was very, um, anytime it got stale, mm-hmm. it seemed to throw something new in so that, you, that you had to think about. Oh. And then eventually it threw in enough new things that it said, no, you got too many things. Let's, yeah. let's reduce down and take away a little bit of the tediousness of these documents. I, I like that. It felt so it very did, real. It did definitely go, oh, we are a little tedious now. Here, mm-hmm. Here's a single document that lays everything out rather than four. Right. So that was nice of it to, to give you a little bit of a break towards the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, 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 you paid your dues. Right. So here's your reward. You get to do it a little bit easier. Yeah, and I, and I like that. I like I like that feeling. Like it feels like a growing situation constantly, where it's like, yeah. uh, again, I, that's a little bit of a story thing. But as, as the country is is discovering things at the same yeah. time, they're throwing stuff at you, and you, and you kind of get to view it from that point of view, which is really cool. Yeah. And it's uh, I don't know. It's it's interesting that they kind of they at one point, you know, if someone comes in, they have work papers. Or if they need work, like if they come for work, so they have the work paper, the ID card, their passport, their other, and there's just five papers on your thing, and you're just you're checking a million different names and numbers between everything. Um, I also definitely noticed that towards the end, once they were throwing all those papers at you, they really started to go, uh, you know what, the issuing cities thing, which is something you'd have to like look up yeah. every time. It, I noticed way less infractions because I never check them. So, if that was the only thing wrong with them, they went through. And I noticed that closer to the end, almost never an issuing city violation. Yeah. I think I got one in late game. I, I, I think they realize that it's kind of, you know, you have a ton of stuff. On, they, they, yeah, they, well, you, it evolves. Where you, at the beginning, you are looking for that because you only right. have two things up. One Eventually. Thing at the very, very beginning. Yeah. Mm, it, one or two. Okay. And then by the end of the game, you're looking at... I guess I should have counted it up and saw how many different things you were trying to cross-reference because it's, it's their age, their um, all the expiration dates, which yeah. every document has one. All the names across three different documents, yeah. and they all have to be exactly the same. And then if anything's wrong, you fingerprint them. So then you have four more documents pop up. Yeah. Uh, people coming in with asylum have a whole different sheet. People who are... Diplomatic. Diplomatic have different sheets. People who are part of the press don't have a sheet. And yeah, <laughs> you just don't let them in. Fuck them. I never let them in. <laughs> yeah, I don't need them in that country. <laughs> um, yeah, um, there's just a lot of things to take in. Yeah. And it's to me, it really interested me because it, it felt like I was a piece of the machinery of that yeah. country. Like, I really got into it. And um, I, I wish I remember how many citations I had because I think it was less than you. Oh, it was. I remember because you got to that point, and I was like, oh, that's all you had? I had 29. Yeah, I think I, I, think I had 10. But we were also on a very different path from yes, the yes, very beginning. Yes, which we're going to get to. Yes. Right, um, right now. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, like, and again, it does a really, really good job of making you feel like, you know, another brick in the wall. Yeah. Uh, Don't do that. We'll get, we'll get this removed. <laughs> Immediately. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just so you know. So yeah, it makes you feel like that, and I I totally get it, and I and I I don't mind it feeling tedious, and I again I I only mind those couple of days because I'm and I'm different than you like you were like oh, I'm gonna unlock endless mode I was like oh that sounds like fucking horrible yeah and looking that up that was a bad idea yeah, yeah. how to get it because it's a certain way it's only one way you can play the game to get it oh that's weird it's yeah. not just beating the game like I thought. Yeah, I would have expected that as well. That's it's, really you have odd. to get to day thirty-two. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, you blew my mind. <laughs> yeah, we'll get, th- we'll get there. I, I guess so. Cause I didn't uh, even know that was a thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about. Uh, it. I, well, do you want to talk about a story right now? If, if um, we have, do you have anything gameplay? We just double check here. Cross-checking becomes near instant. 
as mm-hmm. you unlock uh, bookmarks and hotkeys. So, like, uh, eventually, as gameplay gets stale, you can pay for unlocks, or, or for, sorry, for enhancements to your check booth, your check uh, border crossing. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. <laughs> the, to the check, you'll get uh, upgrades to your checkpoint, which include uh, bookmarks on the book that you check for cities and uh, forgeries and all that great stuff. Um, you can even get the uh, space bar that lets you open up the investigate button really quick, which is the best thing to have. Yes. No matter what, yes. that's yes. You I, have I think to it's have the it. first one. Yes, it is. So it's you. It is a must have, even if it means killing your uncle. Yes. Yes. Um, Fuck your uncle. It, well, I mean, let's start over there. Scoba. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? And then tab, which lets you. Um, it pulls out the, the stamps. The stamps. Yes. Which is really useful late game because yes. you, your tab. I really like that these dumb little enhancements are like, oh, awesome. I'm going to pay for this cool upgrade where I can press spacebar and make a thing happen 0.2 seconds faster. But it, it's because the game it works. <laughs> like, well, I don't know if we went over this, but your salary is tied to oh, how many people. We did not. How many people? That pe- is a very good point. Yeah. So your salary is tied to how many people you let in. Mm-hmm. So if you let six people in, I think it's five tokens per person. Is it in, or is it people serviced in general? You looked it up? Yeah, it's people I was wondering. in. People okay. you let in through the cross. So, like, you want people to go in. Like, that's the point, because you get more money. But I didn't <laughs> let people in, for the most part. So that probably screwed me. Again, you got 29 citations, so you were probably rolling in the money. I was not. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, I also had 29 citations, so they kept taking money from me. Exactly. Um... Uh, but it, it does a really good job of, like, giving you these things, and then later on, like, oh, uh, when you first get that tab thing, you're like, well, why the fuck would I ever need this bullshit? Yeah, yeah. And then, like, day 29, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm so happy I have this dumb tab thing, because if you have your pamphlet open, yep, and then you have a reason marked, and you hit tab, it'll cancel everything out, pull the... Things open, and it's this weird little system where you're rewarded for this dumb piece of shit that you bought. Like, I really like that. It feels very silly and really, really, like, on point. Uh, yeah, it, another great thing about the game is, uh, that I just want to talk, touch on real quick, is the uh, you get to lay out your table mm. exactly the way you want it to be. Which I really liked because I had my, I had my own little system. Which is kind of like, when I'm at work, I have my own little systems in place to do things. So it was, it was, it's like a work simulator. So you, you, I'd put my book out, and the first thing I'd pull over was their passport, and I'd put it right underneath where the stamps are, so that I could stamp it as fast as I could. And while I'm doing that, I'm checking the time and the date or whatever. And if they had extra documents that weren't their main, like, data bur- like a entrance permit... I uh, would look at those as fast as I could. And throw them off the table. And then throw them off. And That's then what I would do. Yeah, bring yeah, in yeah. the big one. Because <laughs> that one has all the different information. And i got to double check it. And I'd drag them in if I needed them again. The other, the, the littler ones. Yeah. yeah. And uh, for the most part, I, anytime I found uh, something wrong, I would detain a person. 100% of the time, I think I detained every single person. Unless they had like a, a sob story that I believed. In which case, I would just deny them. <laughs> Uh, I think this is a good point to get into story. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's what I was hoping to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I went into this game and I went, let me try to do what I usually do in games, which is be a good person. Sure. And I'd like to start off by saying, I think this game does morality better than almost any other game that I know of. Hmm. Even better than Bioshock 1, which had really great morality where you either murdered children... Or help them. Yeah. And got yeah. equal. I think you actually got more stuff if you helped them. So it was like, oh. Yeah, why murder? <laughs> why murder? Because you feel good at the end of the day, which is already better than if you murdered them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, uh, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Not that's, to talk about Bioshock. That's for it's another one. another story. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> which we'll, I'm sure we'll get to. We'll get to the infinite at some point. No, no spoilers. <laughs> I went into it trying to be a good person. I only detained people. When I absolutely needed to detain people. Because I looked at this and I went, clearly this country is going to fuck these people up. Yes. Right up the asshole. Like, no no, no rhyme or reason to detain people. If I could deny them, I denied them. There's, 
you you are incentivized to detain people. Yes. You're incentivized to do something that is morally probably not the best thing to do. Uh, and you are not incentivized at all to do the opposite. Correct. It is faster to detain people. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, and you actually, at, at a certain point in time, you get money for detaining people. Yes. So de- denying people just makes you give get happy feelings. That's it. Mm-hmm. Nothing but happy feelings. Yeah, because and it, it, really, I was hoping to make a lot more money because I was I was doing pretty good getting people in mm-hmm. and people detained. Yeah. So even if I detained people, I was making up for not letting them in. Right. So every two people you detain, you would get five tokens because a guard would come up to you and say, "Hey, I get ten credits." Yeah. Every time you detain someone or whatever it is, every two people I get ten. So I'll split it for with you. So every two you get five. Exactly. And then I was like, oh, yeah, that's a fair trade. Like, dude, I'll detain everyone. So I did. I literally detained every single person I could that seemed worth detaining. I really, really like... I like that they don't ever try to frame the detain as, like... They make you feel shitty about it, kind yes. of. But, like, they don't ever frame the other side where you... They don't They don't present the choice to you. No. They, a, a little button comes down and says detain. Yep. That's it. That's, that's your choice. Your choice is... Decline or detain or let them in even at mm-hmm. that point. Because you can still let them in. You can say, fuck it, here you go. Yeah. Uh, and what's really nice about the game is that it has a lot of character, even though it kind of looks like a piece of shit. Everyone has a lot of character. And I think that works really well uh, with it. And it has a sense of humor, which I really enjoy. One of the big things I felt like it was inspired by was Brazil. Because mm. in Brazil, there's a huge bureaucracy. 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 Obama. Obamacare. Obamacare. There's a big Obamacare. Yeah. So that movie, there's this entire system that is entirely built on paperwork. And then at one point, a fly falls into a typewriter. And it fucks up this entire person's life just because of a single typo. 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 (laughs) Single typo. And, the, and so the rest of the movie is just this entire derailment because of a single fly that fell into a machine. Like, that's how much the society is automated. So here you have, everything's fine except, oh no, their birthday's off and you've ruined it. And now you've detained them. And now they're going through hell because of you right. deciding that, yeah, that birthday's slightly wrong. Or what, like, their paperwork expired a day early. Yeah. And you just... And, and they come up to you, they give you sobs. Well, yeah. not everyone does. No. Some Not, people are just assholes. Some people are just like, no, oh, check it again. And it's like, well, I'm going to de- I'm gonna decline you. Mm-hmm. But some people, you know, and, and I, I made the choice. And again, I'm not incentivized. I'm, in fact, why I like this moral system so much is because you have something like a guy comes up and he goes, hey, my, my child was murdered by this guy who's like right behind me. I want you to let him in even though he's on your registry to decline, yeah. I want you to let him in. Mm-hmm. Now, right away, that's already morally gray. But now I also have to let this person in mm-hmm. st- and while also taking his passport. I have to do all these things that don't really benefit me at all. In fact, they hurt me. Yes. Whereas in most games you have, uh, here are your two choices. You have your evil choice. Where you murder the guy and you make a hundred gold. Or, or you, you murder the guy to avoid all this other stuff and you get a hundred gold. Good job. Or you can do the good choice where you fight everyone, probably make 500 gold plus all the experience that you make. And then you still get the same reward, if not a better reward. In the yeah, end. yeah. And, and so it's weird because it's like the, more, the, the good choice should be the harder to do one because that's how life is yeah, yeah yeah it's really easy if i just want to go around and steal shit like yeah yeah, yeah. it's that harder to sense. yeah it's i so i really appreciate it that it does stuff like that even little things like like that's stupid it, georgie sure my favorite character it's not yeah. really a moral choice but he, he wins you over i know you detain him every time but at a certain point he just kept coming up to me and i was like you're so fucking great and I just started accepting him. <laughs> so, so Georgie is a an interesting character that you meet right away in the game. Uh, you know, within the first five days, if that, who uh, doesn't have a passport, 
No uh, password. At doesn't all. have anything. <laughs> it doesn't even know really what he's doing at this uh, checkpoint. You send him away because I believe at the time you don't have uh, detaining rights, and uh, he'll come back and you'll have a everything will be wrong. He'll give you. No, he gives you a fucking crayon. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he brings like... you a crayon passport with a not real country written on it, which is even better. <laughs> fucking beautiful. Yes, uh, which I denied and handed back to him. I also very did. satisfied <laughs> with myself. Eventually, though, he will bring everything to you correct. Um, yes, which is shocking and a moral dilemma because this man is clearly shady. Oh. Uh, not 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 just like oh you know these pa- I think I'm almost positive he says it he's like yeah I finally yeah. created the right document I mean yeah. got the right document. no no he doesn't correct himself <laughs> don't don't give him credit yeah, for yeah. he <laughs> Jordy, clearly Jordy says don't give a fuck yeah <laughs> but yeah that's so it's I have to let him in because if I don't I'll get a citation because he has it all right and uh, and that that presented an interesting choice with his character because it's like uh I don't want him mm. in here cuz he's he's bad I know he's bad news bears I can tell <laughs> No <laughs> He uh eventually he comes back though even though you've already let him in you think he's going to stay there but he comes back and uh, by this point in the game though you can check people's weight and uh he's much heavier than his advertised weight so you start to uh, you do an uh, what's what's the word they use for it? Uh, they just do a little button comes out and searches. Oh, it just says search, yeah. And, and, he says and you do like ads getting real sexy in here. Yeah, yeah. Because you take a cute naked picture of him. You so see his little bepis. You, you, you take an X-ray of his body, and <laughs> on his backside, for the most part, it seems uh, he has drugs taped to him, <laughs> which he says are for his family. The first time, then the rest of the times he does not. He says they're just recreational drugs. <laughs> And he says he's, he he just, yeah, he doesn't even try, which I love. You know, it's very endearing. But I also need to make money, so I detain him every time after that because he's in the wrong every single time he comes. Right, right. Uh, uh, Though, uh, to his credit, uh, he really helps you out in the end. Yeah. I don't know if we should want to talk about that now. We should probably come back to that. Well, I I do kind of want to talk about it because it's one of the few problems I have with the game. Okay. Because... Georgie, and it's a storyline. This game has storylines. We're going to get to the overarching story in a second. Yeah. Because it has a little bit less to do with gameplay. Because uh, we're kind of in the intermediary. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Anyway. We'll just <laughs> chop this up any way we want. <laughs> we won't. <You're> right. <laughs> it'll, it'll just be just, straight through. It's just this. <laughs> uh, Georgie has a storyline. And I, after a certain point, just started letting him in. And I felt... That I, you know, yes, you know, I was talking about the moral stuff, and I really appreciate that it doesn't, you know, it doesn't fuck with you. You were getting incentivized anyway, because you were detaining him. You were making money on the spot. Yeah. At the end of George's storyline, he walks up to you and goes, I don't have a passport, but I have 40 bucks for you. Bam. There you go. Here's 40 bucks. Yeah. And I thought, when I was playing, I went, oh. Because you kept letting him in. Because I kept letting him in. I was like, oh, fuck yeah. Like... You know, I, I took a ton of citations for you. Yep. Because I, I really thought that you were endearing, and I'm glad that I got rewarded for it. Yeah. Right at the end where I probably needed it the most. And then I, I turn around, and I watch you. We have to be on the exact same day, I think, at that point. Yep, yep. And I looked, and he handed you 40 bucks, and I was so pissed. Because all I did was detain him. All you did was detain Never him. Never helped him and except you, for the one time. Exactly. You made money. Yeah. You made money, and then you made extra money. So, really, I was in the right to detain him every time. Yes, which there was feels no really weird, because it's... Consequence it's, to my action. Right, right. Yeah. And it's, it, you know, I, I get it. Like, oh, yeah. But I wouldn't have known that unless I had detained him. And he's not part of the main storyline. So, I could replay the game again. Well, do it correct. He is the main storyline. Is he? Because he gives you your passport after oh, that that's a good point he does give you that passport but yes i mean he's not the main main story because you don't have to do you don't have to escape you don't have to no there's that, 20 that's... endings and only you know 18 of them are the exact same with slight variation i i read them all so okay you you're, to you're gonna have a good you're, you're, well, i'm gonna talk about a couple of them not all of let, them. let's talk about the main storyline okay well we are because jordy's a main character you always see him he's he's 
he starts the game. I on mean, most on most days, you see Georgian. Yeah, yeah, and he's always doing something. And it's unique. always a fucking delight. So now, <laughs> uh, really, I don't know if we talked about this, but you're trying to raise money for your family. Mm-hmm. And al- along the way, uh, they're getting sick. And, or at the end of each day, we didn't go over this at all. No, no, We're no. fucking horrible at this. Yes. Sorry, everybody. We're, we're, we're breaking it in. So one of the big things uh, that you're doing in this game is you're trying to raise money because you have a family and uh, you guys live in a shithole. At no point do you ever raise enough money that you can uh, both feed and eat your family. I thought you said feed and eat, and I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> feed and heat. And uh, a consequence of that is that your family gets sick. So then on the next day, you now need to heat, feed, and now medicate your family. And it breaks down that you can only buy medicine for certain members of your family. So you'll at some point likely have to sacrifice. A family member. Some of these options, including a family member. You're, uh, at some point, you're going to say, yeah, my mother-in-law mm, doesn't need to live. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have no direct connection to her. I, and I thought about that, but I thought, you know, men should die first, and so my uncle died. Oh, well, luckily, my uncle and my mother-in-law died at the exact same time. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess you can't really fault that. I, I, what is interesting to note is that all of these things are not equal. I believe food is more than heat, and medicine is less than either. Medicine is five dollars yeah. per person. I think heat is ten, and food is twenty. It might be reversed. It doesn't really matter. No. The interesting part yeah. is that you look at it and say, "Are they cold? No, they're not. Fuck heat, then." Yes. Are they hungry? No, they're not. Fuck hunger. Uh, they're neither. Okay, fuck both of those things. And if they get sick, it's way cheaper to just treat them and throw it out, like yeah, and save the money. Yes. So it's it. it even there, there's these weird moral dilemmas. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The game is really good with moral dilemmas. Yeah, yeah. And I, and Definitely. I think I turned and looked at you and I went, I think I have a real moral dilemma. <laughs> I think I said those exact same words. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's the premise of the game and what you're trying to accomplish is keep your family alive. Yes. If they die, you get a game over, which is not an ending. Right. It's a straight game over. Right. To go along with the death game over where you just die. Um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna start talking about some of the choices because that's kind of how we gotta talk about the story because really nothing's really going on except for some of these choices you have to make. Um, around the Georgie uh, beginning, there is a person. There are girls who are dropping off business yes. cards. I forgot about this. Eventually, one of the girls, I think, I believe she slips you a note. That's how a lot of things are told to you is, is via notes, and it says that this person behind her is selling girls into the sex trafficking trade. So. I looked out for him and I found him and I I had that note so I detained him. I was able to use the note and detain him and then I, I felt really good about it because I remember playing the first time and not knowing what to do with his stupid body. Wait, what? I detained. Wait, you can detain him with the note? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. I just straight declined him. No, no, I and I got a citation for it. See, I didn't. I detained him and actually was rewarded for it because it. I got the newspaper the next day said. Known Man. sex trafficker detained, detained or imprisoned, and whatever. And all these girls were excited. Like it, it was really cool. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that because the first time I played, yeah, I declined him because I didn't know I could detain him. I think what I did was I highlighted the note and I put it on the table. I don't remember because again, it happened so early in the game. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, I was very shocked that I was able to do it without getting in trouble. So that was uh, that was one of the big choices of the early game that I was like, oh, cool. I, I didn't know about that. That's that's interesting that I could get this accomplished. Um, the what is it? Ezek. As yeah yeah. Ezek. E- easy I see. Yeah, easy I see. I always said Ezek. Yeah. Yeah, Ezek. So they present themselves kind of early on as well. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe in the first I w- quarter. I would say they're the main protagonists. I I would I would say. E- Ezek presents itself pretty early on as the good guys. Yeah, well, whether they, or not they, they're the main protagonist, or whether or not you they, believe they're the good guys, is different. But they present themselves as the good guys yeah, in your story. They say they're good guys. I don't know if I believe them. I clearly did, yeah, uh, and did at the same time. I didn't really do a good job of helping them, except mostly by accident. If they presented something interesting that didn't consequent me, mm-hmm. I generally helped them if I could, because uh. If you help them, at one point they will give you a thousand credits. Mm-hmm. And if you burn it, they'll give you two thousand. Exactly. And if you burn those, nothing. Yeah, you should have just kept it. 
Yeah, probably. Yeah, there's no consequence to keeping them. I thought there was. Uh, they'll do an investigation, but if you don't help them anymore, you just keep the 2,000 credits until the end of the game. Hmm, interesting. Just so you know. Yeah. Don't worry, I got the 1,000 credits because I... I was shocked that I was able to, to continue my game because normally, I guess people say that you will fuck up really badly. So I got the 1,000 credits and I immediately bought a new apartment because that's not suspicious at all. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> and so they did an investigation into me and they took away the apartment and the money. Yeah, those are presented very well because it's just like, oh, you got a bunch of money. Also, an apartment's available because yeah. that option doesn't come up ever again. No, well, it does actually. Towards the end, you can oh, go. Yeah, 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 you can get another apartment, but I definitely didn't do that, and yeah, I still got, money. I still got fucked, which is sad because I really wanted to complete the game kind of proper. Mm-hmm. I have, I, I got one of the shit endings. I'll just state that now. So yeah, the house and my family went under investigation. That lasted like two days, I think, and then eventually they're like. Uh, yeah, we don't know how you did all that, so we're taking everything, and we're not going to ask any more questions. You're just screwed now. Yeah. And I said, okay, cool, whatever. And then my uncle died. <laughs> I think that's right. As they do. Yeah, I think that's around, right around the time that my uncle died, because then I had no money to, to help him. So, Ezek, it's these, these people, and their goal is they come up to the checkpoint, and they say, they'll, they'll give you a thing. Sometimes these things are really cool. They're like, uh, uh, here's like a cipher, and you have to figure it out. You have to figure out uh, these people's names. And then next time they'll hand you a, a, a different cipher. It won't really tell you how to use it. Though I figured it out made me really happy. It, 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 it's that little puzzle yeah. game element to it. But they're, and they, they're trying to get their agents into the country. They're trying to get other people, keep them out of the country. You know, like assassins and things like that. Um, it's always presented a little bit morally gray if you actually read the newspapers. Because the newspapers are like... Ezek blows up a thing. Yeah, yeah. Though they seem to insist, like the blue guy, there's like there's there's one main Ezek member who kind of gives you assignments. Yes. Never has a passport. He's just in the line. He comes up, talks throws, to you, throws a note at you, throws a note at you, gives you your assignment, and then walks away. If you want to accept it, you don't have to. Um, and uh, so he he seems to be he seems to say that they're not going to blow shit up, but. Mm, you know, the newspaper is run by the government. You know, it's very hard to tell what's going on. And it's weird because you're in a position of very little power and also a lot of power all mm. at the same time. And it gives you this very nice feeling of, like, I'm helping, but not really. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm doing what I can, but I can only help so much because I'm in this tiny, tiny position. Yes. But so they're your main good guy they're your fighting against the government force yeah yeah. and sometimes what the blue guy tells you is incorrect which is interesting Mm -hmm. because there's a moment where he says kill this person which raises red flags anyway yep uh because you're never asked to do that any other time and and you said that there's an ending for it yeah um which i didn't get i did because i wanted to see yeah yeah um it seemed interesting but it's nice that sometimes people are wrong, you know, and they're kind of your main conspiracy type deal. It's it's very interesting and cool, and it you kind of feel like a secret agent sometimes. Well, it, it, it's also, there's some stuff that's presented you don't know who to trust. Um, yes. Like, he's telling you to kill someone, and then a lady will come and tell you not to kill someone. Who is an Ezek member. The yes. lady is an Ezek member. But, like, you might not know that, I think. Well, if you... You know, if you do this, if you do the cipher correctly, you know she's an Ezek person. But if you don't, because like I didn't. Oh yeah, then you won't know. And I was just like, oh, I'm not gonna believe you. I thought she was part of the government. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't know what to believe. And that's one of the harder ciphers. That's what's very interesting is that he comes up, tells you to kill the person. If you fucked up that cipher from the day before, you have no way of knowing that yep. this person is the correct person. Like, yeah, very odd. How it does I, that. I like uh, one of my favorite things as well that you were kind of stuck on was the lady told you not to shoot the man in red. You were really I forget how she said it. She, watch said out! The, watch out for the, the man in red. And the man the, in red is not dangerous. Something yeah, yeah, along yeah, those lines. There you lines. go. There you go. There we go. And then so you're looking at all the people coming into the checkpoint that have red shirts on. Yeah. And you're like freaking out. Yes. For two, constantly. three days, and then eventually you finally get an actual character in a line who is who blatantly is, red, which yeah. I was like. Mm. But that's okay. Like, yeah, I get it. It, it made it, it made it very clear all at once. It was like a little tiny so you, moment. So yeah. these other days, you were stressing out. 
yeah. for no reason, which I think is really cool. Like, yeah. you were you were doing a little extra work to make sure that these characters weren't yes. good or bad, and only to find out, oh, I was wasting my time. <laughs> very very few times in games do I write anything down. This game, I I wrote down like four or five names. Yeah, because I had to remember them. Because I and and you watched me a couple times. I I. I would forget to check the name, and I would either just completely restart. Yeah. Because I just went, fuck, I don't know if that's the right person. It could be. Yeah. Might not be. And there was one time that you did fuck up. I yes. I was there for that. Yes. And, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very interesting game. Mm-hmm. The least interesting thing about it are the endings. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, I played through... I didn't detain a single person, which I kind of expected a little... Not a reward, but some kind of a... Oh, what? You, you detained one person. That's true. Okay. I think I actually detained two people. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think you have to, but it's not like there's a real consequence to right, it. Right, right, right. Um, I, I kind of expected some kind of like, hey, you didn't detain people. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't want a monetary... I didn't want a gameplay reward for my good actions. I wanted some kind of little something. Uh, just like a, um, you know, something nice to make me feel like I went through the trouble. But yeah. I guess that's kind of part of the point at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, is it's purely, like, that wouldn't happen in the real world. So I understand it. Um, I I went through the game. I, I helped pretty much everyone. Uh, everyone I could. I had three of five tokens or three of six tokens, which so are. It's one token per country, I think. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. I think. Um, I could be wrong. Tokens are little things that you get for kind of completing these little mini side quests. Like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep a watch for me because I, I can't. This is my collateral. I promise I'll be back. Let me in. Keep this watch. And then, like, three people are going to offer you a bunch of money for the watch, uh, in, including the, guy, the lady who's just before the person in line who's picking up the watch. She says, this person, uh, this watch, annoying as hell. I'll pay you twenty. He only wants to pay you ten. Mm-hmm. You decline. You, you say no. You get. You let her go. The guy comes up. What's really nice is he goes. Here's ten. He doesn't say. You know what? I heard what that lady said. Here's thirty because you're such a good guy. No, here's ten. You did the good thing, but you're only gonna get ten for it. And he even tries to fucking take it back, which is my favorite part. Um, but he gives you a little token. Yeah. He says you've completed the side quest. So mm. I, I try to complete as many of those as I could. I try to help out as many people as I could. Um, I helped out every Ezek member that I was aware of. Um, I don't think I missed anybody. I could have, and I probably did. Uh, but I helped out as many as I could. And then uh, I got what I would probably consider, not knowing what the 20th ending is, the good end. The good end. The good end, which literally just ends and says, hey, you did it. Oh, spoilers. Hey, you did it. <laughs> Uh, you're such a good guy that everything's fine now. Uh, you're great. Good job. You're the best. That's the Ezek end. It's just the game kind of just quits and you go, okay. They go, good job. Uh, you don't have to, you're not in trouble anymore. The government apparently fell overnight Yeah. during during this one time where like 25 people got into the country. The government fell overnight apparently. Uh, you're fine. Your family's fine. Uh, you're going to have a great life now. And it's very anticlimactic, and it feels very anti-papers, please. Like, I, I felt like I should have gotten an ending where it's, oh, Ezek is now part of the country. Now everything is chaos. Well, you know, because countries just don't get a new government overnight. They go through fucking chaos. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, y- your family was brutalized. And, like, I-, I wanted something like that. Like, yeah, your good deeds will help in the long run. Good job. But in the short term, your life is still shitty and maybe worse because you did good things. Like, it, that felt a lot more papers, please, than what I actually got, which was really disappointing. Uh, I also did try out an ending where I left with just myself because I only had enough money and only one passport. How so did I that go? Uh, it just went, eh, you leave the country. Yeah. Your, your family, I don't know. Yeah, it's unknown. Yeah, which is fine. Like that's that's kind of a downer of an and, ending. And, but it's expected that you yes. wouldn't know, so that works. Exactly. Out. Yeah. Again, I I have a really big issue with the ending I got. Just felt real off. I think I got ending seventeen of twenty. 
So basically, I didn't get the Essek quest mm -hmm. completed very well. Like, I only did a couple of them correctly. Mm -hmm. And then, uh... I, I know the one you got, because at the very end, if you do them all, the blue guy comes up and he goes, uh, we know that you're a good guy, we're gonna come blow shit up, and yeah, uh, yeah. they won't shoot you, basically. Yeah. Real fucking peaceful. Yeah, and I think they still shot me, though. They shot you. Yeah. But they didn't shoot me. And that's because I didn't do enough of their tasks. Exactly. Yeah, so they went out to murder me, and then um, I got put to death, because I think yes. I killed them. And I got put to death for helping them in the first place. Yeah. It was fucking pointless. But those feel more papers, please, than than any... than I, 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 It just leaves a really bad taste in my mouth. To have a good end in papers, please, seems really off. Yeah. The, well, the good ending is ending 20 of 20. Well, okay, yeah. Tell me what ending 20 of 20 is so I can really so, bitch about it. I'm just going to read it. Because that's the only thing I can do. Right. The inspector must not have completed any ESIC task hmm. at all. None. On day 31, he must neutralize both the attackers and must not escape. Hmm. In the morning, his information audit shows only minor infractions and he is permitted to return to work. A deal with uh, Kalicha mm -hmm. is reached and the checkpoint will remain open. But that's not a, that's a papers please end. Yeah. You're still stuck at your job. Nothing's really changed. And like, that's what I expect. Yeah, that's what I expect. Not, uh, everything's great and you live in fairyland all of a sudden. Like, but it, that's like the end you're going to get because you went through all that trouble. Yeah, but. Like, that makes sense to me. And, uh, like in a normal game, but papers please seems to elevate itself more than that very often. Yeah. And almost, you know what? I'm going to take that back. It elevates itself above that kind of shit. Mm -hmm. All the time. The whole game yeah. elevates itself. Other than the end of that Georgie quest, which I, I don't really like. But that's okay. Uh, but if you never played it again, you would never even know. But that's kind of, that's that's an issue, I feel like. Like, I don't want to sit here, compare notes, and go, oh, there's a lot of similar stuff here. Like, I felt like I was getting my own thing, but clearly I wasn't. Oh, but see, for me, it's like, oh, Georgie really understood that I was just doing my job. That's a good point, I guess. Like, he knows right. I have a family, because he sees the little kid drawings, he sees these things, and he goes, you know what, this guy, he's just doing what he has to do. And he even says it, he's like, yeah, I understand. You know, I, I, hadn't, I hadn't seen it framed like that, and that's a very good point. Yeah. I, I, that's how I saw it. I think I might retract what I said about the Georgie quest. It's okay. It, it's a good, like, medium one that's yeah, in the I, middle for anybody to get, and you get to make your own little, like, oh, that's what happened there. Yeah, I... I would have liked, I still would have liked, oh, you let me in, here's 40. Oh, right, you maybe there was here's a, 20. Yeah, like, exactly. Maybe something a little probably different probably be a little it. bit nicer, yeah. especially to balance out the fact that you got stuff anyway. Yeah. Um, but again, if you didn't see it right after you did it, yeah, it might have had a exactly. different impact yeah, yeah. on it. <laughs> um, I, I think, it, you know, in any, in any other game, I'd go, oh, you know what? Good. That's my good end. Mm -hmm. Good. I, I, I feel like I deserve the good end. In Papers, Please, I feel like I... I wanted to see what he could have done. Yeah. Like, I wanted to see that kind of, hey, you did it. You did something really good for the country as a whole. Because that's, that's what the Ezek quests are really about. Sacrifice yourself for the good of everything else. Well, yeah, but that's kind of what the one ending is. If you do the, if you don't pay attention, like I did, mm -hmm. and uh, you, go, you kill the red guy. Right. That's the sacrifice ending, where you, you sacrifice yourself because mm -hmm. you immediately get killed by the government because they go, you murdered someone. Right. Especially a, a citizen or whatever, like a, a bystander. Right. And uh, it's very annoying. But, but you know, you, but the information is wrong in that case. But I didn't know I was wrong. Right. That's true. That's true. Because I didn't have that cipher correct. But... I knew that the information was correct, but I was still letting people in that were Ezek. Yep. I was making the sacrifices because I thought it would make my country and my life better. Yeah. But mostly my country. Like, that's what they were all about. They didn't promise me anything other than they gave me money sometimes. Yeah. But they didn't promise me any future endeavors. The only thing they talked about was, we're going to make uh, not Ukraine better. You burned the second... $2,000? Yes. That should have ended your game, I think. No, I burned them both. 
Because I didn't take either one. I could have swore it it did something that got you in trouble. Burning the second set. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it didn't... I, I swear I burned both because I had no money the whole game. Okay. Uh, just something curious. But uh, he... I don't know. It, it just feels very off-putting to have that kind of good end, especially when 20 of 20 is a kind of a downer ending. Yeah. And all the other ones are downer endings. And then you just have this one random ending that's like, oh, yeah, you did these things for these people who probably blow shit up, but now your life's great, so don't worry about it kind of deal. Yeah. Did your savings get confiscated? I don't know. I don't think I had savings, so I don't think it mattered. Okay, because I... The amount doubles to 2000 on day 12 if the inspector refuses. If he does not burn the money at, at either choice, all of his savings are later confiscated. But that's if you don't burn them. So I have to burn the first and not the second? See, I didn't burn them. That's why I got confiscated, I guess. Right, right, right. Exactly. That's what I figured. So what, what, what are your, what are your um, final thoughts on the game? Great game. Ending's kind of weak, but I had a fun little adventure with it. And that's really what matters to me most of the time. Graphically, it looks great. I really like the aesthetics. I, I said it looked like shit before. It it doesn't at all. That no, was it's a joke. It looks really great. Yeah, it's got a great little style to it. You know, it feels like it could have been like a Commodore style game. Like the way it just feels old while still with a fresh uh, palette to it. Yeah. The music's great. You know, there's only one song in the game, I think. <laughs> oh, no. The... the I'm sorry, the Ezek ending has its own little stupid fucking song That's where it's like, oh, it's happy. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? Um, no, I mean, I, I really enjoyed it. I don't know if it's the best game I ever played, but I enjoyed my time with it more so than a lot of games I've played that are triple A. Yes. That, that will be a common theme with us, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I, I have to say, I really, I think that this game is important. I, it's a very, very good game. Uh, the things I have that are against the game, very minor. Uh, it is. It does suck that the one ending that, of course, is the one I got is the most off-putting the, one. The me. worst one, yeah. It, it's the worst, best one. Like, <laughs> um, and that's okay. Like, it's it's a very, very good game. Um, it's not my favorite game of all time, but it is incredibly good. Um, it's. There's something about it that just feels fresh, new. It's interesting. Most importantly, with me, I don't care how many flaws something is, or has, rather. If it's interesting, that's all that matters to me. Well, it, it really does something different. Yes. Uh, you know, you, I went into this not knowing what it was originally, and it was like, oh, you, you just check people's things. It's really cool. Like, it's a, it's a simulator game, clearly. And I played a lot of sim games, like Sim Ant, Sim Jungle, all of fucking games there's like a million of them and this is one that i was like wow this one's really detailed in the exact ways i wanted and i didn't realize it like i really like those things like the cold war setting you know the conspiracy theories the propaganda it's like and it has a great it has amazing atmosphere yeah it really really does and you really if you kind of just get zone into it it you can get lost in what's happening and you feel like you're that character and it's really nice yeah, it's a really good and, feeling, and it's a, it has nothing to do with just. What's nice is that you can kind of look at papers, please, and you get lost in the story without needing to care about the story if you don't want to. Yeah, because the things that help get you lost are gameplay related. Like mm-hmm. you get lost because you're doing these things. It doesn't need contextualization. Yeah, it, its systems are strong enough that they stand on their own, even though they're just about checking paper. Like it, it's a really, really good game. Yeah. I, oh, and yeah. real quick, I don't mean to cut you off there, but it takes things that you know and represents them in interesting ways. When you poison the guy, mm-hmm. I mean, it, it all works within the systems of the game. Yes, it, it, it's one of those feelings that are very, it's really hard to describe when something just works like you feel like it should work. Like, without really needing a whole lot of explanation, I... Got it. Yeah. And, and, like, same thing with those ciphers. The ciphers probably more than anything else, especially the the one where I lined it up and I went, oh, I get yeah. it. Because it just, it just works within the system because you get it. Yeah. It's, again, incredibly hard to describe when something just works and you yeah. don't feel like it should. It, it's a game that is a video game. Yeah. 
that feels really tactile. Yeah. Somehow. Like, I, it would be great in, like, Oculus Rift, probably. Mm. Like, being in a booth and doing those things. Like, if there's a 3D yeah, yeah. version of the same game. Like, that's the... You couldn't recreate this game. It, but you could do yeah. it in Oculus Rift, probably, with 3D graphics. And you are pulling open a drawer and pulling things out and yeah. pulling the stamps and doing those things. Throwing up yeah, in, constantly. directly into your fucking lap. <laughs> Which, you know, would be recorded directly onto the the uh, people coming into the checkpoint. Exactly. It'd be perfect. Yeah. You liked the game? I did. I very much liked it. I liked the game. Yeah. It's a good game. I wouldn't say 10 out of 10, but, you know, it'd probably get an 8. It's like an IGN 10 out of 10. Yeah. Pointless. Pointless. Might as well be a 0. <laughs> it could be anything. Who fucking knows? Yeah. No. Um, 8.8. <laughs> somewhere 7 or 8, if you wanted to do those kinds of scores. Mm. But I don't really care. I yeah. think it was fun. I would play it, it again. It tra- First of all, I think it transcends numbers, for sure. I think so, most games do. <laughs> yes. Because numbers I agree. don't mean anything. I agree, I agree. Um, but I think this one in particular, even if I didn't like it, because I could see someone not liking it, yeah. I would still recommend it. Like, there are games that I like that I don't recommend. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing about this game is it's very much playable. Yes. Very By cool. anybody. It's not like, and it's not challenging in the sense of, there's still like learning curve, like Monster Hunter, where you have to put in a hundred hours before you go. I get it. Here, it's like it's presented slow and easy, and by the end of it, it's, you're not really overwhelmed. Like it might get a little overwhelming, but it doesn't punish you for it being overwhelming. Hmm. Like it, I, I could take my time as much as I really felt like I needed to, and never felt like I was pressured to go faster than I did. Yeah, like you can go fast and you can go slow, but it never felt like I was being punished for going as slow as I did, which wasn't very fast most of the time. Like I was letting four people in, two people in. Like it's only the only consequence is you don't get paid, right? Which is a pretty big consequence to be yeah. fair, because you can game over. You can game over if you, can you also go play into the negative mode too. Which yeah, which I might do just to try some choices out that I was interested in, but I didn't touch it. So yeah. I like the game a lot. It's it's one of my favorite games. I would play it again in a year. Okay, I went from, it's not one of my favorite games to, it's one of my favorite games. Well, I don't know if I meant that. I wouldn't put it up there in my top ten. Right. But it's one of those games that is required playing for a gamer. You know. <laughs> Dorito do. Yeah. <laughs> Get my Doritos and my papers, please. <laughs> yeah. It, it's something that everyone should try. Yes. I agree. Definitely something everyone should try. And if you don't get into it after day 10 or whatever, fine. That's fine. You, you, but you probably... If you're not, not hooked by that point, then it's not a game for you. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, you, you might not learn something, but I think you'll feel something, yeah. which is important. Because I think by day 10, you've, you're starting to really understand the systems and the story, and you go, all right, yeah, I want to know more, or mm, I got it. Yeah. I don't need more. And, like, I, 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 and I'll agree. Like, that's fine. If you stop... At that point, you, yeah, good. It's fine. You did so it. You still got... I, I think you'll still get something out of it. Yeah. So, okay, to recap, we both like it. It's a good game. Yeah. First first game, yeah, it's it's like a six-hour game. Whatever. Nah, first game... I, I don't of, think it's that long. It's four to five. Okay, four to five-hour long game is our first game... If you game don't restart over and over again. <laughs> out of 52. Out of 52, we, we did one. We did one out of 52. Yeah, can't wait to do 51 more of these. Howard, 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 more of these.